Wes Pastor here from Christ Memorial Church. How can you defend a system where the innocent suffer? The gospel, in fact, the very righteousness of God, demands it. Now, starting in chapter 4, this gospel wisdom is challenged, first by Job's three friends, that's the bulk of the book, and then ultimately by Job himself. And we'll hear from two principal witnesses who will testify to the righteousness of the innocent suffering. Mostly Job, but then finally God himself. Now today we'll look at Job's defense of gospel wisdom. Well, most of you know the reasoning of Job's three friends. They say Job is suffering, that's obvious, and that only the guilty suffer. And therefore Job is obviously guilty and God is just in his punishment. But for 20 chapters, nearly 20 chapters, Job's going to defend his innocence with passages like this. Let me take it in Job 16, starting in verse 11. God hands me over to ruffians and tosses me into the hands of the wicked. I was at ease, but he shattered me. And he has grasped me by the neck and shaken me to pieces. He has also set me up as his target. His arrows surround me. Without mercy, he splits my kidneys open. And he pours out my gall on the ground. He breaks through me with breach after breach. He runs at me like a warrior. I have sewed sackcloth over my skin and thrust my horn in the dust. My face is flushed from weeping and deep darkness is on my eyelids. And although there's no evidence in my hands, there's no violence in my hands and my prayer is pure. Did that put you to mind of any other scripture? You know, Psalm 22 is almost identical to Job 16. You should try to overlap them at some time. You see, like Job, Jesus, of whom Job prophesies, was innocent. And like Job, who said in Job 13, 15, though he slay me, still will I trust in him, Jesus entrusted himself to the one who judges righteously. Jesus entrusted himself to the one who afflicted him to death for our sins. Guilty, vile, and helpless we, spotless lamb of God was he. That's gospel wisdom, the innocent for the guilty. Hallelujah. What a Savior. Have a good day.